Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's train simulator 150th anniversary of the Terriers. I mean that's quite an amazing anniversary. I uh, hope everybody is okay. I hope everybody can hear me okay. Um, yeah, I mean to say that 10 locomotives that are all 150 years old survived that long. Um, you know, um, some being converted to A1Xs. Um, you know, it's quite a quite an amazing uh, achievement. Um, so, what I thought we'd do tonight is I have as closely as possible, um, as closely as possible as I can do, recreate all the terriers that are currently in preservation. So the 10 that are in preservation. Actually, this is a site uh, we've got in front of us here, which is Box Hill and Wadden. Now, for those who know, Wadden is in Canada. So this scene has probably not happened, well, I don't know when the last time this would have been seen. Um, so it's quite an impressive achievement. Um, so what we'll do, uh, I've actually left these two as static because in real life, uh, or in, in preservation, Box Hill and Wadden haven't run in preservation, um, from what, as far as I'm aware. Chat, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Box Hill's based at the National Railway Museum in York, and Wadden's based at the Canadian... Um, uh, let me just check where it's based, because I've forgotten. <laughs> I know it's somewhere in Canada. Uh, here we go. Uh, she is based at the Canadian Railway Museum in St. Uh, Constant. Uh, so yes, quite an amazing, um, quite uh, well, quite a way away from uh, from the UK. So it's had quite a big difference. Now, one of the things you'll notice as I come forward, he'll be saying, "Hang on a minute, hold on a second there. You're showing A1Xs, not A1s." Yes, you'd be correct. Um, so this is the livery that they would have carried, um, or they, they carry currently in preservation. Um, um, but they are as A1s, not as A1Xs. Um, I haven't got an A1 in uh, the game, because um, actually the, a lot of the, the livery that comes with the A1, um, uh, none of the locos in preservation carry that. Um, but your major differences, if you don't know your differences in Terriers, um, it's basically to do with the smoke box. Once you see the smoke box differences um, and how it's all sort of intertwined, um, actually, I've got a point. I don't know if anybody noticed, but behind me, I actually have two terriers. Um, so what I'll do is I can show you on camera um, what the differences are. So if I can get the camera to actually work, let me just pull up the other screen so I can see what I'm doing. So that is an A1. So you can see by the way it's styled at the front, uh, where it's got these sloping um, sort of sides uh, to the um, uh, smoke box. Slightly different design. And then you can see the difference with the A1X, as you can see the smoke box difference. Probably not in focus very well. Um, but there is very much differences. There's actually a, quite a huge amount of differences between the Terriers, which I'll go into um, which this pack allows you to do, you can set um, different terriers have different bunkers, different chimneys, depending on where they worked. Um, so yes, but also what we're doing is we're running a gala. So we are on the um, we are on the Isle of Wight. Now you'll know that there's two preserved terriers on the Isle of Wight. But what I thought I'd do is, unfortunately, as a lot of the terriers don't, uh, some of them don't run, sort of a gathering of this scale would probably, uh, sadly, never happen. Um, uh, well, you never say never, I mean, it could do, but basically, what we'll do is, is I'll go over here. So, we have got, on this end, we've got Freshwater, Sutton. And Benbridge, also known as uh, Nunlow. And over here, we have got Martello and number 11. And then Stepney, Fenchurch and Poplar, all down uh, down the other end of Smallbrook Junction. 
So I've tried to recreate sort of the Isle of Wight stock as closely as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm just sorry, chat. I've been talking away and I haven't said hello to everyone. So here we go. So Danny's in the chat. Hi, Danny. How are you? How are you? Where are you, Danny? That seems. Oh, Great Falls. Okay, you're in the Great Falls. So, right. Yes, and we're on the Isle of Wight. So, if I just set the roads. Now, you will notice I have changed some of the point work um, on the route. This is due to I had a couple of issues earlier. Um, so, this is now. Um, this is now sorted. Uh, British Ace, the. Um, the uh, the southern coaches, so these ones are a separate uh, marketplace pack, uh, as well as these SECR coaches here. So you've got the SECR bird cages, which are these three at the back, and these three. You've got, um, this is a bullied, and this is a mansell here. Um, and then these are the Stradley coaches, which comes with the terrier pack. So what we'll do is we'll take uh, Freshwater, Sutton and Bembridge, uh, Manlo, um, up to the top uh, and then we'll uh, run round and then swap over to the other southern locos uh, and we'll go from there. So I thought we'd just run a gala really, something a bit different. Have I put the wrong number on there? Because I thought that there's a photograph I found of her. Um, there's a photograph I found of her somewhere. Uh, wearing that, wearing that number. Moggy, because I thought Sutton was preserved. Unless Sutton is masquerading as something else. Or, yeah. I can. I, I tried to do my research as close as possible. Because I'm thinking of the one that's based at... Um, oh, okay. Because I'm thinking of the one that's based at... Um, Spa Valley. And I thought that was... They, they said they were going to name that Sutton, weren't they? So I've I've tried to recreate it as as it would look. Actually, in the rear area.
Ah, oh, no, you are right. No, it's supposed to be Whitechapel, isn't it? But Whitechapel's being renamed to Su... Yeah. Just realised. PSI stands for pressure. Ah, right, Moggy. That's really interesting, because I thought a Saturn was Saturn, but obviously not. I'm still learning things about these beautiful locos, so... Now, uh, approaching Wooten. What a lovely interiors, these coaches. Cage. A nice shot of them coming into the platform. Okay, so so there's about three or four Terries then that run run as Saturn then. Ah, fair enough. Try and get all the coaches in the platform and try and make sure we don't block the run round, which I've just done. No, stop. I have to push forwards a bit. So I'll push forwards and then we'll run round the train then. I got a load of passengers That's what happens when you've got such a long train. Hi, baby being kid. It's alright. Right. Let's get the passengers off the train. Get some more coal in the boiler. Uh, also, I fitted a spark arrestor to what would be this uh, basically no thanks to Moggy um, Whitechapel is the one that survived um, and it's currently the Spa Valley Railway and it's going to be renamed as Sutton um, so this is what it would probably look like um, depending on what livery comes out in but looking at the photos it's used I had a spark arrestor fitted at some point so uh, I fitted the spark arrestor um, as I said, Bembridge we're running, um, but it's actually, so when it was on the Isle of Wight, it was named Bembridge, um, but when it was on the, um, on the, on the, you know, in the southern region, um, then we had it, uh, then it was named as Knoll, um, so it's, uh, it's, master, it's using its uh, Isle of Wight name. And then we've got uh, Freshwater, which is also based on the Isle of Wight. So uh, both um, uh, these these three, well, Freshwater was based um, is based at the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. Uh, Sutton at the uh, or uh, Whitechapel 
at Spa Valley, currently being overhauled. And um, uh, Benbridge Knoll is at um, the Kentony Sussex Railway. Well, thanks, Moggy. If there's anything that you think I need to say in the chat, or need to say as I'm doing this, please let me know. As I said, there's, there's some knowledge I know, there's one or two bits I don't know. So if there's anything, Moggy, you think I should mention, please let me know. Right, should we uncouple the train? There we go. And we'll go and run round now. train now. Well, it was called Improved Engine Green, but it wasn't really green, was it, Moggy? Now, chat, this is totally up to you. We have got a goods train as well. So my plan is run this, we'll then top and tail, run, run down to, uh, back to where we were before. And then run the, uh, run Martello in number 11 down to um, Smallbrook Junction. Uh, collect Stepney, Fenchurch and Poplar. This train is not stopping it. I'm on a 1 in 70 gradient. Oh, that's an interesting fact, Moggy. Thanks for that. So, as Moggy said, improved engine green colour scheme was a mustard colour, as we shoe earlier. Um, it was uh, rumoured that uh, Stroudley, who built the Terriers, was actually colour blind. That's really interesting, Moggy. Yeah, it's brilliant seeing all the rods, isn't it? sure we roll onto the train nicely. Well, we're coupled. Well, yeah, exactly, Moggy. Yeah, no one to know for sure. Yeah, yeah. It d yeah, it does have green in the livery, because it has it near the... Um, well, we'll show the livery later on anyway. load the passengers again. Right, 
Right, there we go. Now we can just roll. Yes, because the Terry is, uh, as we can see here, it's a very slow firebox. There you go. Okay. Let's see what's ahead of us now. Yeah, I think it is Spike Bean Kid. I, I have been on the footplate of a terrier, and yeah, it's very, it's very, very. It's, it's quite a long. There's quite a wide cab at the back, because um, I've been on Martello. Um, but yeah, it's quite, quite an interesting. Yes, it is Moggy, yeah. That's one way to lose my pressure. No, I won't be being kid. We're going down now, so. <laughs> Bless me. I'm back to Haven Street now. Uh, Mr. Burns, this is the Isle of Wight. And um, this is the Isle of Wight Steam Railway on the route of the Isle of Wight. Limey Moggy, that's amazing. Right, we now got the gradient now, so we'll put some brakes on just a touch. Look at those rods. When you've got three terriers together, it just looks fantastic. Break. Stop in the platform. 
platform now. She does that. Right, we should be able to open all the doors now. Which we can indeed. Set the road here. As well. Look at that for a sight. Five terriers in one shot. Look at that. Really moggy. I didn't realise they ended up in Scotland. I knew the Great Western did inherit some, but I didn't realise that they went as far as there. I am. Yes, baby and kid, yep. Just put some water in the boiler, just put some more coal on this loco. So we'll come back to these three later. And I find it funny because I put in Invincible here. So it can just be like, oh, everything's been taken over by Terriers. You know. I'll do enough water. Right, swap over to these two now. Martello and number 11. Up the gradient we go. The one in seventy. Am I getting two mics? Shouldn't do. Hello? Okay, that's fine. 
up the gradient now. So a little interesting thing about St uh, Martello, which is the one we're running here. Uh, Martello is now braced at the Bres at Bressingham. Um, uh, it was actually went to Butlins. Uh, they, a lot of terriers survived uh, when they went went to Butlins. Um, oh, a couple of them. Um, but yes, it's. Martello is quite an interesting one of the of the fleet. Um, I think actually she's apart from Box Hill, she's the second furthest north terrier um, preserved. If you don't count the one that's in Canada. But for, for those who don't know much about the terriers, the terriers went everywhere. Uh, sort of in the southern region, so they were mainly built for suburban services when they when they first uh, arrived uh, for the um, uh, London, Brighton, and South Coast Railway, and they were soon found that they were not powerful enough uh, the, for the suburban services. Um, sadly, quite a few of them were scrapped. I think there was uh, altogether. We'll just get the. Um, so there was a, technically there was there was well there was 50 uh, terriers altogether, um, and they were built between 1872 and 1880. The 17 were built to a one X's, which is what you can see here, which is slightly larger. I'm struggling to get up the gradient now. Um, and depending on which um, you know boiler you have. Uh, or, uh, sorry, which uh, bunk you had depends on your cold, cold capacity. Um, they had a BR of a 0P a power class, and they were withdrawn between 1901 and 1963, so quite a long period of withdrawals. We stop at Ashley. fun because it's on one of the heaviest gradient parts of the line. And I love how terriers have that distinct bark. Um, I should think, Moggy, that was one of the reasons why they were actually called a terrier. So, yes, yeah, so the list of, uh, of survivors. So, we've got um, uh, number 40, which is Newport. Um, which is uh, number 11, which we've got here. Um, as white 11. Uh, you got uh, Newington, which was renamed Freshwater uh, when it moved to the Isle of Wight. Um, you have number 50, Whitechapel, which is Sutton, which we saw before. Wadden, which is in Canada, on Staten Display. You've got Stepney, which is the most famous one of them all, uh, as you'll probably know why. Martello, which is the one, other one we've got here, uh, which is uh, Bressingham. You've got uh, Poplar which is at the Kent East Sussex Railway, which uh, sadly had a major failure uh, on the weekend, which is gone. Um, Fenchurch, which is also at the Bluebell Railway. Knoll, 
which was um, masquerading as Benbridge when it went to uh, the Isle of Wight, as I've re recreated, and Box Hill, uh, number 82, which is at the National Rail Museum. Quite a heavy train. And just cresting the top of the hill now. Question for chat, what's your favourite terrier then? Go on, tell us what's your favourite terrier. So you like, you like sun, yeah. Moggy likes sun. So I'd, uh, I'll await, uh, Oh, IWS24, Facts on Freshwater. So, Facts on Freshwater, she ran on the Hailing Island branch to the, uh, to the end, and then put on the side of a pub before coming to the island, still with ash in the smoke box and water in the boiler. Look at that. I didn't realise how much of a gradient it was. Quite a steep gradient coming down. Is that Brighton Works, Moggy? Yeah, I thought it was. Slowly getting to Smallbrook Junction now.
curve now coming up. the rest of the Terriers waiting for us. Get the whole train in or not? Probably not. Oh, just about. That'll do. We're in. Get some water on before we blow off. There we go, it's the door shut. Right, so shall we move over? We have got Stepney, Poplar, and Fenchurch. Should we run up as a five? Mm. Well, that'd be easier. It'd be rather fun. Let's run up as a five. I was going to top and tail, but I think it'd be easier if I run, if just run as a five. <laughs> Gonna be any easy if we run as a five. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll join them all together and run to Pier Pier uh, Rye Head Pier, I think. How does that sound? second. All the other engines were prepared and I wasn't. Right, so let's move over to Poplar. Look at that. We've got five terriers now. Thank you. 
Aries have got a mind of their own. Already know where they're going. Yes, very important, Moggy, yes. One of the Terriers went to Paris and actually won a gold medal for design, wasn't it? Joking. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that is so annoying. Drat. Drat, 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 drat. I wasn't expecting that to do that. Right, I've got a plan B. It's fine. I've got a plan B. Right, let's run over to... Um, Small book junction. That went well. Did definitely put a oh, hang on. Well, it's a it's a there. Yes. Tell you what we'll do. Let's try again. Oh, come on. Is there a shortcut to drive? Uh, oh. This isn't going well. Which is really annoying because I want to get this to work. No, it won't. Right, let's just connect these wagons up. Game just needed a bit of persuasion. It's not had to deal with this many terriers before. Right, we can head off at last to our planned
Try again. The only thing I haven't thought about is how I'm gonna <laughs> where I'm gonna put all the stock. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It'll all be fine. Now we've got the gradient to deal with. Three terriers on a good strain. Look at this. That's, I'm really pleased with this. We've got eight, just some northerner. We've had eight so far. up to uh, proper line speed. Steep gradient now. And blast up the gradient. Hi, Cope. And yes, we have the most famous terrier of them all, Stepney the Bluebell Engine. I don't need to tell you what series it's out of because I know everybody knows. Uh, be limited clearance, Alan, I think. I believe we can just roll over the top, hopefully. Thank <laughs> you. 
made it. Look at that. Now we can just roll down the other side now. Yeah, we've got a triple header. Yep. Making up a bit for lost time. I've got to sort out Haven Street, I've got to work out how I'm going to do this now. I think. last thing of the night, or the last run, we're going to run all eight together, all preserve, all the uh, that have run, we're going to run them up to Ride Pierhead, just for fun, how does that sound, all eight together on one train. A1 and A1X is Mallard. A1X is the rebuilt, A1s are the unrebuilt. Signal's gonna complain at me. some plan in my head. We'll see how it works. I'm not the best shunter, but I'm sure we got an idea.
jump these to the top. I've got it. I've got it. I've got an idea. It's about to get very unusual. So, I think connect these ones up to that. So what I'm going to do, is you're probably thinking, what on earth are you doing? Uh, so what I'm going to do is, these wagons need to go in here. So ideally, I mean in normal terms, what I'd normally do is, because I can't select that other train at the moment, or the other terriers, what I'm going to do is push the train, push the wagons to where the other terriers are. Couple them up to this set, uh, select them terriers, so I'm driving those ones, then move the, uh, uncouple the, these terriers, and then, um, yeah, sort of, that way. It'll work out, it's fine, I'm working it out in my head, which could always not go very well to plan. But got enough wagons to do that with, haven't I? Yes, there you go. This is the probably the weirdest stream I think I've ever done this. In the sense of what I'm actually about to try and attempt. Right, stop. Everybody stop. Right. Are we stopped? Yes, we are. Okay. Right, we are there. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, right. Now, what we're going to do is... Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? 70... So... That's that coaching set. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five terriers. So we need to uncouple these five. Push the train forwards. There's a plan for my madness. can do is shunt the set in there. Uh, 
Uh, what coach number is this? 147. Uh, don't do that. Where are you? Right, we're there. We are there now. So that's now shunted out of the way. I can get past that. Just got to clear this point now. Well, have we cleared the point? Or well, not enough. That would suggest otherwise. Right, now we've cleared the point. So put the brakes on. Uh, uncouple the three locos, put it in reverse. We can now couple up to the other six. Push the whole train back and then head up. Oh, come on. Behave yourself, game. Never had to deal with so many terriers all coupled together. Oh, wrong way. This is the first time I've actually attempted this, so this is going to be really interesting. Are we getting somewhere? I think we've got somewhere. Right, should we see what this looks like? Look at this. And we're off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we've got more, less coaches than terriers. Does that matter? No, not really. I thought you'd approve this, Moggy. Look at all those rods, and they're all sort of in sync. Just make sure I've got the road set for them so we can go to Smallbrook. Go to Ride.
<laughs> yeah, who let the dogs out, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Can you imagine seeing this? I mean, it must would be absolutely amazing. Look at the amount of steam! Look at that! That is impressive! I think I would, yeah. I think I would, Danny. Freshwater leading the pack. Certainly gaining speed now. That's probably not realistic though. Let's bring it down. Look at the rods! Look at that! That looks fantastic! I'll take a screenshot of that, I think. I think that is screenshot worthy, if I don't say so myself. That looks amazing, all the rods going round. Chat, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? What would you do if this many terriers came up the line like this? I mean, I think the most has ever been, Moggy, was it four terriers they've had together, or five? No, Bluebell, I can't remember now.
you're going through the avoiding line. Did I change the road? No, I didn't. It's a good job I checked. Now we're right. And we're on the main line! If you really, this, this is, it's just a, it's just so many terriers, the, yeah. Hi, Train Simulator Driver. Yes, we are. All very well, thank you. Let's put some brakes on. to Rye P head. One. We've got eight Terriers train simulator driver. All the ones that have been operational in the past uh, in, in preservation. What's over? No, this is a free room. I can put it on uh, workshop if you want to chat. You tell me if you want this on, you know, so you can play around with all the terriers on the Isle of Wight. You're more than welcome to have it. I can upload it. Well, 
that all the terriers on the pier, rib, on the uh, ride pier. Look at that. Okay, yeah, I will train simulator driver. Don't worry. Look at that. Uh, possibly not, Danny. They might have to walk. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I'm just trying to think. Uh, yeah, just. There might be one. Uh, baby and kid, yes, this is the Steam version of the Terrier. So this is what you what uh, you get. This is this is the I'm using. Everything that I've used is just on Steam. Although I don't think Ride Peerhead would be pretty happy with um, how many uh, terriers are on the uh, pier at the moment. I don't think the pier would be a uh, pier. I think the pier would be groaning under this much weight. go right let's see if we can actually fit any coaches in the platform I think we will I think we will I think you'll be pleasantly surprised on how many um, Terriers you get in the platform I think we're going to get the Stroudleys in. Definitely. Look at that. We actually got all the Stroudleys in. Look at that. I'm impressed with that. And now you'd see the whole ride pier head collapse. So there we go. That is the Terrier 150 celebrations. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed that. I mean, I, I certainly did. Um, I mean, to get all eight preserved that have run in preservation Terriers all together in one video. And showing you all which ones are preserved. I think is is very much is very good. Now, if you haven't already, go and check out. There's a real rail fans article. We've got a Terry 150 sale on the Dovetail store. That goes on until uh, Friday at two o'clock. So if you haven't got the Terriers, you haven't got the Isle of Wight, um, uh, London, Brighton. There's a couple of Southern Region locos as well. Go and pick them up. Um, it's all to celebrate the Terry 150th anniversary. Um, we've also um, um, we've also had the uh, if you or if you haven't already, check out the Terrier 150 website. There's a specific website that has um, all the 
preserved terriers as well as all the events that are coming up there's a couple on the Isle of Wight um, as well as you can upload your pictures of terriers all throughout the years uh, also of this year um, and just have fun I mean I must admit the terriers are awesome locomotives they're, uh, they're to see that this is there is ten of them in preservation is nothing but I, I find a miracle. It's amazing that 150 year old, 10 of 150 year old locos have all survived. It's, it's amazing. Anyway, that's all for tonight. Uh, tomorrow you have got, uh, let me just check, because I forgot to check. Um, give me a minute, give me a minute. I think you've got another stream tomorrow. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Yes, so you got Spirit of Steam as with Sam. So you got Steam Week this week. So there we go, and you got that to look forward to. Anyway, see you all very soon, and take care, everyone. Bye bye.